He is finally free. The 85-year-old American tourist and veteran of the Korean War held captive in North Korea since October is now on his way home. Right now, Merrill Newman is on a flight to San Francisco, his plane due to land at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Seth Doan reports from Beijing, where Newman made his, final, his first stop after his release. Freedom after 43 days. Merrill Newman arrived at Beijing's airport today on a flight from North Korea, or the DPRK. I'm very glad to be on my way home. And I appreciate the tolerance that DPRK government has given to me to, to be on my way. First thing, what would you like to do? I'll go home and see my wife. <laughs> At the Newman family home in Pasadena, California, his son Jeffrey said the family briefly spoke with him while he was in Beijing. He is in excellent spirits and eager to be reunited with his family. Newman, a U.S. Special Forces soldier during the Korean War more than 60 years ago, had returned to North Korea as a tourist in October. He sought closure, according to family members. When he was about to depart Pyongyang on October 26th, he was pulled off a plane and detained. Then in November, Newman appeared reading an apparently forced apology, where he acknowledged alleged crimes against the North during the Korean War. He had originally planned to travel on to South Korea, where a group of veterans waited for him. We went to the airport to greet him, Choi Il Song told us, not knowing that he'd been captured. These veterans, who CBS News spoke with in Seoul, said they were anxious and worried about the elderly Americans' health. Park Bu So, a former Korean Special Forces soldier, told us he remembered Newman as the American who'd come to oversee the training of their anti-communist guerrilla group. Our group is quite infamous in North Korea, he told us. North Koreans grind their teeth when they hear our name. I speculate he was kidnapped because he mentioned our name. Vice President Joe Biden, who was in South Korea today, praised Newman's release and said he never should have been held in the first place. Seth Doan reporting. The vice president says the U.S. is still working to free Kenneth Bay. He is a Korean-American Christian missionary. He's been in a North Korean prison since last year, following his conviction for crimes against the state. Bay is serving 15 years hard labor. His family released a statement following Newman's release. We have been praying for him and are very happy that his family will have him at the head of their table for the holidays. We believe that our Kenneth should also come home soon.